What's going on guys? Caleb Pierre Caleb's Property Maintenance. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about older two-stroke equipment and what we can put in the gas to make the equipment run better. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so um, any of us that have been in the industry for any length of time are probably going to have some of the older two-stroke equipment. I know I have a couple pieces. This Red Max blower was made in November of 2003, so it's uh, quite a few years old, as well as the Red Max trimmer that I mentioned in the previous video. I'm sorry I don't have that on hand right now to show you guys, but don't worry, I will. Um, it's, it's getting some repairs, so just bear with me on that. But uh, here's a perfect example. So we have the Red Max blower from 2003, and it ran fair when I first picked it up. Um, one of my customers uh, actually sold it to me, so um, pretty thankful for that. And uh, comes in handy, uh, lightweight, lighter than the uh, steel BR600 or 700 or any of the uh, sort of industry standard blowers that are on the market right now. Uh, the reason why I picked this up is uh, so my mom could have something to use when we're doing leaf cleanups, and uh, since she's uh, a little bit smaller of a person than I am. That way she can still uh, handle it and it's not, not too heavy for her and uh, her shoulders don't get as tired as fast. So uh, that's why I picked it up. Um, it comes in great really um, blowing normal grass and whatnot. It has uh, plenty enough power if you're looking for a smaller backpack blower. Um, plenty enough power as far as that goes. It just, just does not handle leaves very well, but if you're working alongside or with someone with a bigger backpack blower, it works just fine. And the only uh, problem with this blower is it does have a, uh, can you believe that guys, all the way back in 2003, they were smart enough to come out with the technology uh, to have the air come up the back side of the back pad and uh, cool you off. That little fan that's connected to the motor does not work, that's the only problem with it. When I first got it, it worked for a little bit and then it shut off. So uh, I'm not about to go spend the money to get it fixed. We don't use it that much, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, anyway, so what kind of oil maybe do we use to um, help clean this engine out and then keep it clean? And that would be really simply, uh, we use the Echo Red Armor Oil. It's, um, it is expensive. And yes, it actually is red. Um, very, uh, but it works super, super, super well. I'm sure you've seen some videos uh, about it where guys are shining a small little camera into where the spark plug screws in to show you the uh, cylinder and how clean it is. But uh, I've been thoroughly pre impressed and actually I had a steel handheld blower die on me and I took it all the way apart, got all the way down to the original engine and that's going to be another video where I'm going to hopefully be able to look into the exhaust port a little bit and uh, show you guys how clean the inside the engine is. But um, So I would highly recommend the uh, Echo Red Armor Oil. It absolutely does what they say it does. This blower here, it ran okay, but um, now with uh, using the Echo Red Armor Oil, we've been using that for about a year now, um, using that throughout the season it really um, sort of brought it back up to where its original uh, running capacity was so I'm really thankful for that and yeah I, I would not uh, have it any other way a little behind the scenes information I had been using the uh, steel high performance ultra oil which is great oil guys if uh, if maybe you can't quite afford something that is as expensive as the red armor oil um, that is definitely a great option and it runs pretty well um, I by accident bought the uh, lower steel oil, uh, I think just the high performance is what they call it, and uh, that was, you could really tell a difference between those two as far as the performance of the machine for sure. So um, yeah, I would not recommend anything lower than um, fully synthetic oil. And another thing to help keep uh, your equipment running is use 93 gas or ethanol free gas if you can find that. I know that's really expensive to buy. Um, we just use 93 because um, all the gas stations in our area uh, do not offer ethanol free unfortunately. Ethanol is uh, very hard on engines and for the most part if you have a small engine problem 
that's why you're having the problem. It's because of the ethanol in the gas. If the ethanol was not in the gas, you would have no problem for the most part. I'm not an expert at this though, so uh, don't ask me any questions, any detailed questions. We might have to uh, have the experts weigh in on that. Yeah, so other than that guys, Echo Red Armor Oil has done me really well, and I would highly recommend it to uh, any one of you guys that may uh, be looking to try it out this year. It runs great, have absolutely had no issues with it. And uh, so yeah guys, that's, that's, that's it for this one. Uh, a little bit shorter of a video, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. And uh, if you have used the Echo Red Armor Oil, uh, or if you're uh, considering it, um, just leave me that, uh, one of those two comments down below and I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, also, make sure you guys share this video uh, to maybe some friends or family or whatever. Uh, as you guys uh, know from the previous video, I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway and we are at uh, right about 450 subscribers. So uh, it would be nice to uh, get another 50 so we can do that giveaway. Make sure you guys share this video and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And one last thing before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to Julio Tomei, Lawn Care Business Success Podcast. If you guys have not checked out uh, one of his latest episodes, uh, he actually interviewed yours truly. So uh, I would highly recommend you guys check that out if you haven't. I'm sure most of you probably have, but uh, if you don't know about it, there you go. I will leave a link in the description below to the podcast on iTunes, as well as the uh, video part of the podcast. Um, he is doing video episodes now. So uh, if you want to see me, uh, do the interview with him, uh, you can do that as well, and I will leave that in the description below. So make sure you guys check that out. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We have more uh, videos just like this coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.